Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me once again. Uh, today we'll be looking at custom modes, and one of the things that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to do is to is to break down the custom mode segments with my part. So part one, which is this video, we'll be speaking to understanding um, the syntax of custom modes. We'll have to do with um, understanding um, um, things around identifiers and, and operators. And for, for part two, we'll be looking at um, which what are the methods of creating custom moves? The two methods we create, by which you can create custom moves. Uh, number one method is wood creation wizard, which is a GUI that allows you to create a world, uh, you know, using a step by step um, approach. And also we have a new world page, and that page it's more for advanced users, you know, people that are more conversant with how to use um, identifiers and operators and things like that. Then the part three will be speaking more into how you can manage custom moves, you know, things around cloning of custom moves, importing and exporting of custom moves, and things like that. So let's dive into the uh, into our lane objective. All right. So uh, like I said, this lane objective is going to speak to the entire um, rule. You know, the, it's going to speak to the entire rule creation on of McAfee Dam. So uh, this is, is, is so it's going to be in three parts. Like I said in the previous video, so we're focus, focusing more on. So this particular video, we're focusing more on rule syntax, identifiers, and operators. Then we will two, uh, part two also uh, follows suit uh, as I've explained uh, previously. All right. So let's move into into the topic of the day itself. All right. So what what is how does McAfee define a rule? Now a rule is uh, is a, a rule defines what type of statements are allowed to run on database uh, on the database management system. So now uh, a typical um, how the typical database works is you know you want query statements and those query statements are uh, you know are being run on database to to get to provide you with certain informations. Uh, and those query statements you uh, use a SQL um, language to do that. Is either using Oracle or using MySQL, depending on the database you're trying to um, you're trying to query. But the, the query statements that, that are used for specific database systems. All right. So what the rule does is that if a statement, a query statement is, is, is it should be is 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 to is to eat a particular database. That query statement will first. Um, eat the the database get we we eat the McAfee Dam gateway and that gateway will determine if that rule will be executed or that rule will be denied. So there are two ways, there are two types of rules. There's a, there's a vPoch rule and there's a custom rule. Now the vPoch rules are rules that are embedded um, that are used to identify known vulnerabilities. So what the rule does is that it checks the query statement uh, that it receives. Uh, to identify known vulnerabilities based on the actions and and the um, and and the triggers. So, if a particular action, if a particular uh, action is triggered, uh, then uh, if a particular rule is is violated, then a particular action is triggered. Um, I beg your pardon. All right. So, uh, so those report rules are embedded, like I said, and they can only be modified, but they cannot be deleted. All right. Then for custom rules, custom rules are specific rules that are created to monitor specific activities in the database system. So when those activities are, are, are triggered, then the violation um, action it takes place. All right. So for for custom rules, uh, they they are more tailored to to your to your environment. So it, it has to do with uh, how you the use cases you're trying to test or use cases that that applies more to your environment. And one of the things we also need to note is that McAfee Dam gives preference to vPoch tools uh, before custom modes in terms of its application. So if if uh, if a particular query statement is being run um, um, on, on the database system, the vPoch will kicks in first before the custom mode take, um, before the custom mode is applied. And it depends on the environment. Most administrators might decide, say, you know what, uh, we don't want to go, we don't want to use the vPoch tools, or they might use limited vPoch tools. Uh, pay more attention uh, to the custom rules. All right, so let's go deeper into the custom rules syntax itself. Now, custom rules itself uses an if-then approach um, in terms of, you know, creating the rule itself. So the if-then states that if certain conditions are met, then patterns, um, then perform specific actions. So if, um, uh, if uh, let's say for example, if the request is coming from a particular IP address, then action is then perform allow that particular request or deny the particular request. So that, that's 
um, the overview of how the rule syntax works and it's very important that we understand this because uh, as you begin to write more complex um, custom rules um, this is the basic foundation and that's why I decided to to take a bit by bit so that for beginners can have a proper understanding of how the syntax works and then they can build up from there so we also need to know that um, every rule will go you definitely have an identifier an operator and also a larger role. so uh, the the op identifier speak to specific objects all right so objects as for example an ip could, could be defined as an object a command type could be defined as an object a client id could be defined as an object so those specific objects a table can also be defined as, as an as an object so a rule would definitely have an identifier an operator and literal and the literal is more like um, allowing you to um have a combination of uh, both operators so i can have um, a rule that says that as an and and, and also as an whole so bringing it uh, together gives us that opportunity to to do that all right so custom identifiers uh, like i said is uh, the, the specific names given to database objects so like a table like a colon like an index you know so it all depends on um specific um it, it speaks to specific items in the database so if, if if you're writing a specific statement uh, for example if you look at this command here it says os user this os user itself is an object all right so that object needs to be uh needs to be filled let me use that word so that the, the three types of identifier category is the categorized three parts is the string is numeric and enumerated so for string it says that this particular identifier uh, only accepts string statements all right this only accepts strings uh, for numeric, it only accepts uh, matching numbers. Then for uh, enumerated, it's more like you have constants, uh, more like you have like a variable that has embedded um, uh, content in them. Let me use it that way. So if you look at, so just to, to give an heads up, if you look at example uh, types of objects, these are actions and objects, applications and objects, kind of, so these are um, examples of objects. Uh, by the time we go into my previous video, we'll be diving deeper into how you can actually create it then we will see how this um, objects really plays out but this is a sample example and uh, if you look at this ox user this ox user happens to be an object uh, which take accept string so the os object is uh, my computer my company or john so for me this is more like um has to do with a domain name and the username itself so uh, this is the format in which this ox user uh, would be accepted then for the application if the application that that um, that the user is trying to use to access um, the database uh, contains Sukut Plus, and the host itself, uh, the host machine itself is John Laptop the local the local domain, and the IP address is one eight one six one eight seven. Then allow. So this particular statement, uh, it is custom. This is, this is the syntax of of how is a rule should look like. All right. So it has different objects, and those objects needs to be filled. Uh, depending on the type of object so it could be a string object it could be a numeric but I can guarantee that most of the time most of your custom rules will be more of strings and numeric uh, you you might you might hardly use an numerator the places where you might be using an numerator is when you're when you're using um, when you're writing customized scripts that's where I feel that's where the enumerated might actually come into play but well, right but th this is how a typical statement looks like and the end operators uh, these are operators uh, that allows you to add multiple um, statements or multiple queries together so multiple identifiers together um, pick your pardon for that so the and so there are three types of operators uh, we move in there now the three types of operators we could use and we could use or and we could use not but these are also um, what we could operators that we could also use as well um, things like equal greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to not equal to uh, these are some of the examples of some of the operators that we can also use but the major uh, three types of operators we could use is hand or and the not all right so if you look at it here we have the hand uh the other this statement only uses the hand but you can also write statements that that allows you to use and or or not to to uh to um, add multiple objects uh, together Alright, so um, so creating a six custom mode, like I said, we have two different ways we can actually create a custom mode. And number one, we could use the word creation wizard and we could use the new word page. Now the word creation wizard it's it's more used for beginners. It, it's a GUI interface that allows you to you know you name the, the rule itself, 
you, you pick specific object and you put in the um, arguments in those particular objects and you just follow suit you know next next if, if there's an error it returns you back and tells you that you can't go further because the query statement your your or the object you're using right now is not correct all right so for the new world page new world pages go straight into you writing uh, the, the it's more like like a C, cli kind of a thing all right that allows you it's more for advanced users whereby you just go um, into that interface and you just type in your commands uh, type in the, the state the word that you actually want to use and and you're good to go all right so uh in, in summary what we've looked at we've looked at the overview of custom rules we looked at the syntax of custom rules and we looked at a method of creating a custom rule uh in my next video we'll be diving deeper into the Anton. i just wanted this video to be like uh, a classroom so that you can have a proper understanding of how a rule could be created thank you very much for watching and I hope to you for I, I want you to please subscribe to this video so that you can have uh, you can view multiple videos as 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 I create them. Thank you very much and have a nice day.